Imagine gazing at the night sky contemplating the vastness of the universe. Does it ever end, or does it stretch into infinity? Welcome cosmic voyagers, to a journey that will take us billions of light years away from Earth as we explore one of the greatest enigmas of all time, the size of our universe. Is it finite, with defined boundaries, or does it extend into infinity, with no end in sight? This is not just a philosophical query, but a scientific one as well and it has implications that could change our understanding of the cosmos forever. We'll be diving deep into the theories and evidence that both support and challenge these diametrically opposed concepts. We'll also be debunking some common misconceptions, and making sure that by the end of this journey, you will have a clearer understanding of our cosmic home. So fasten your seatbelts and prepare for a journey beyond the stars. Let's delve into these cosmic mysteries and unravel the secrets of the universe. First. Let's understand what it means for the universe to be finite or infinite. Imagine holding a ball in your hands. You can see its boundaries, right? You know where it starts and where it ends. Now picture this ball as the universe. That's the idea of a finite universe. It's like a giant cosmic ball with boundaries and everything that exists exists within these confines. But what if the ball had no boundaries? What if it just kept going on and on without an end? That's the concept of an infinite universe, it's a universe that has no boundaries, stretching on forever. In this universe there's no edge, no center, no beginning and no end. Now you might be wondering what's the big deal? Why does it matter if the universe is finite or infinite? Well the implications of both scenarios are quite mind-boggling. In a finite universe there would be a limit to what we could observe and explore. There might be places we could never reach, no matter how fast or far we travel. It would also mean that the universe has a definite size and volume. On the other hand, an infinite universe opens up a universe of possibilities, no pun intended. If the universe is infinite, it would mean there are potentially infinite galaxies, stars and planets. There could be infinite versions of Earth and yes, infinite versions of us. Moreover, in an infinite universe, exploration and discovery could go on forever. But here's the million dollar question. Is our universe finite or infinite? The answer is, we don't know for sure. Both possibilities are equally fascinating and terrifying. So how can we know which one is the truth? Let's explore the scientific evidence. Science has proposed several theories to answer the question of the universe's size. The size of our universe has been a topic of debate among scientists for centuries, and there are compelling theories supporting both a finite and an infinite universe. To begin with, let's delve into the concept of a finite universe. In a finite universe, there would be a limit to the amount of space that exists. This is analogous to the surface of a sphere, where you can travel in any direction and eventually return to your starting point. Evidence for this comes from measurements of the observable universe, which extends about 47 billion light years in every direction. But remember, this is just the part of the universe we can see. The actual size remains uncertain. On the other hand, the infinite universe theory suggests that space extends infinitely in all directions without any boundaries. This is where the Copernican principle comes into play. It implies that our region of the universe is not unique and there could be an infinite number of galaxies just like ours. So in an infinite universe the possibilities are, well, infinite. But what does current scientific evidence suggest? Most cosmologists lean towards the idea of an infinite universe due to the weight of observational data. The universe's geometry appears to be flat, which indicates that it could extend indefinitely. However, this doesn't rule out the possibility of a closed, finite universe. It's just that if the universe does curve back on itself, it does so on scales larger than we can currently observe. And what about the universe's fate? The concept of heat death predicts a future state of high entropy and equilibrium, leading to a thin, somewhat boring universe. Post-heat death, quantum systems behavior may persist, according to current quantum theories. This could lead to scenarios like a big crunch followed by another big bang, but again these are speculations. But there are also misconceptions about the universe's size, which we need to address. There are numerous myths and misconceptions about the universe's size, it's time to set the record straight. One of the most common misconceptions is that the universe is infinite, and it just goes on and on forever. While this is a possibility, it's not a confirmed fact. Current cosmological observations suggest that the universe could indeed be spatially infinite. However, it's equally possible that it's finite but unbounded, like the surface of a sphere. On such a surface, you could keep traveling in one direction and never hit a wall or an edge, yet the surface itself is finite. 
Another myth is the assumption that if the universe is infinite, there must be infinite copies of everything, including you and me. This is based on the multiverse theory, which posits that our observable universe is just one of a potentially infinite number of universes. While this is a fascinating idea, it is still purely theoretical and lacks empirical evidence. Then there's the misconception that an infinite universe implies infinite resources. This is misleading. Even if the universe were infinite, the accessible universe, or the part of the universe we can potentially interact with, is finite due to the speed of light and the age of the universe. Also, many believe that an infinite universe would necessarily mean that it's eternal, existing forever in time. This is not necessarily true. The fate of the universe, whether it's finite or infinite, depends on a variety of factors including its overall mass, energy content, and the nature of dark energy. Theories range from a big crunch scenario to a heat death, where the universe reaches a state of maximum entropy and essentially fades out. Lastly, the idea that the universe's size can be definitively known is a myth. The truth is, the exact size of the universe, whether finite or infinite, remains one of the unsolved mysteries in cosmology. Current observations and theories can provide clues, but the ultimate answer is still beyond our reach. Now that we've cleared up some misconceptions, let's add a bit of fun to this cosmic journey. Let's take a whimsical journey through the universe, shall we? Imagine you're a cosmic explorer armed with nothing but a telescope and an insatiable curiosity. Our first stop? Oh, just a casual jaunt to the edge of the observable universe about 47 billion light years away. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait, if we're at the edge, what's beyond that? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? In one scenario, the universe is like a cosmic donut, finite but unbounded. You could keep traveling in one direction and end up right back where you started. It's like walking around the Earth except on a universal scale. But what if the universe is infinite? Well, then we're in for a never-ending journey. Beyond the observable universe, there could be an infinite number of galaxies, each with their own stories, their own histories. It's like the world's biggest library, with no limit to the number of books you can read. Now let's fast forward to the far, far future, where we face the concept of heat death. It's not as menacing as it sounds, promise. It's more like the universe reaching its golden years, a state of high entropy where everything has reached equilibrium. The universe becomes a cosmic retirement home, if you will, where everything is calm, peaceful, and a little bit, well, boring. But don't lose hope, cosmic explorers. Some theories suggest we could be in for a big crunch, a cosmic rewind button that could lead to another big bang, it's like the universe's version of a phoenix, rising from its ashes to start anew. On the other hand, quantum theories suggest that the universe's behavior post-heat death might still persist. It's like the universe's ghost, still lingering even after the lights have gone out. After this journey one might wonder, what does it all mean for us and our place in the universe? We've explored the vast depths of the universe, pondering its size and our place within it. We've navigated the concepts of a finite and infinite universe, each with its unique implications. We've delved into the scientific theories that paint vivid pictures of both scenarios, backed by evidence from cosmology and astrophysics. We've addressed common misconceptions, demystifying the complexities of our universe's possible boundaries or lack thereof. We've added a dash of creativity to make these grand concepts more digestible and enjoyable. Yet despite our exploration, we've merely skimmed the surface of the universe's mysteries. Remember, the universe's mysteries are still unfolding. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. To the ancient Romans, this celestial body was symbolic of blood and war. But to many people today, the red planet may hold the key for a bright new future for humanity. The story of this cosmic beauty began about 45 billion years ago, when gas and dust swirl together to form the fourth planet from the sun. It is the second smallest planet in the solar system. Its bloodline appearance inspired the ancient Romans to name the planet after their god of war, Mars. Today, Mars is dry and desolate, but billions of years ago, it had a warmer, watery surface, lake beds, and river valleys 
suggest the presence of liquid water in the past. Life on another planet may well be out of reach for the near future. But if any planet can give us hope, Mars may hold the key to the survival of humanity.